and welcome to Christmas with Crystal. I was going to wait until November to stop decorating my house for Christmas. I could wait no longer. It starts today. So today we're decorating my chandelier, which is where I always start for Christmas. And I am taking you along with me doing everything this season. It's going to be so much fun. Let's get started. This is my chandelier. This is what we're going to decorate this Christmas. And these are the decorations. Let me go slowly for you and then we're going to go through everything. Ah, I'm so excited. Sorry for screaming. Wow, I hope I didn't base your eardrum there. Okay, so you need one wreath and I'm going to show you how to do everything. I'm just literally letting you know what we're going to put up. You need one wreath a whole bunch of garland and preferably garland that matches your wreath that will be ideal you need one statement ornament a big gigantic one like this you need a whole bunch of holly picks or holly sticks or berry sticks whatever you'd like to call them you need a couple wicker balls if you would like to use these you don't have to these are holly wicker balls i have a whole bunch of uh, ornaments here i like to put ribbon on mine this is wired ribbon that's cut perfectly for my um chandelier and let's go with what you need to actually install it you need some zip ties like these um and just some hooks to hook everything up so we're up here i'm on my ladder <laughs> the first thing you'll want to do is just turn off your chandelier of course what you want to also make sure of is that your chandelier is sturdy you're going to be twisting this around and around so make sure it's screwed in properly on top i don't want anybody saying crystal made my chandelier fall on me so make sure your chandelier is Okay, chandelier is, is sturdy and well installed before you do this, right? And we're going to get started with actually putting on the, um, the decorative pieces right now. Now, the first thing I use for my chandelier is a wreath. What I do with the wreath is I put the wreath at the base of the chandelier like this. So it is, um, it's nice and full and it really makes it look nice. What I do to install that wreath is use zip ties. So you'll put one zip tie onto your wreath like this. If it's you alone doing it, you can do this by yourself. One zip tie onto your wreath. And then you secure it onto one of these arms here. So I'm going to do that and show you how I'm going to do it. See, I have my zip tie on my wreath on the outside of the ring. I install it and I zip it like this. And now I'm going to continue installing that wreath at the base of my chandelier, just like so. All right, so I've gotten all the, I have five arms in my chandelier. So one, two, three, four, five. And I've gotten all, I'm not tightening, so I like where it is. I feel like it's placed really nicely. I am just tightening my zip ties to make sure they're secure and make sure they are on there really, really well before I cut them. All right? Once you've secured them, then you're just going to cut the excess off. Are you seeing this? So I have the zip tie here. I'm just going to cut this off now. All right? And keep cutting until you've cut off all of them and many of you may be asking why am i wearing a santa hat and my question to you is if you don't wear a santa hat while decorating for christmas are you really decorating for christmas <laughs> okay let's continue <laughs> the next step is to open your wreath so you're going to zhuzh it up a bit what they call zhuzhing and decorating i never use that too but i can't believe i just said it so you're going to just open it up a bit and spread the, the, um, the branches or the leaves or the stems or the sticks, whatever you call them, spread it around. Make sure it's nice and full and make sure it's nice and especially down to the bottom here. Make sure it's pulled down 
and pull down neatly. Then we're gonna get garland. That's the next thing you're gonna grab and you're gonna wrap the garland around going all the way up to the top. Okay, so I've stepped up a bit on my ladder. You're gonna be high up in the air here, so be careful. Um, and I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna wrap it around. So I take the end, so this is a really long garland. I take the end and I just start, you're just putting it in side and you're pushing it this down towards the, the wreath. All right, so you're installing and pushing and installing and pushing and just keep wrapping it, making sure no branches go inside of your lights because you don't want any of the branches touching your lights at all. Right, so I'm literally wrapping it around. That's what I'm doing. Wrapping and pushing. I keep pushing down when you're wrapping so that it will be full. See how that's nice and full already? I'm gonna grab my other one here, and this is another one. I have All right, this one is even longer, so I'm gonna use the longest ones that I have first and then continue with those. So, look at what I'm doing. I'm taking it and I'm wrapping it around. So, if you have a chandelier and you want to try this. It is really, listen, no one has come to my house and not mentioned this in, in their comments about how the place looks at Christmas. It's definitely a conversation starter. You want to get it done really nicely. So it is, it looks beautiful. So, all right. So notice the great thing. I'm not secure in the garland because the garland is just wrapping on the inside of my chandelier. So it works really nicely. I'm just pulling out the leaves right now, zhuzhing up a bit, according to decorators. <laughs> I'm pulling out the leaves so that it, it, it really pulls out and meets with the other, with the other, are you seeing it? So it looks like a real Christmas tree when you're done, huh? So I'm gonna take another short piece and put it up like this. So now that we've gotten to the top here, I'm gonna be wrapping in order to make it come to the top. So I'm opening my garland a little bit, wrapping, wrapping and going up, opening and wrapping, opening and wrapping. Right. And now because we're at the top here and it can fall off, I'm gonna take one of the pieces of my garland and I'm going to wrap it around the stem or the or the the chain here of my um of my chandelier so I'm going to wrap this around like so and that's not going anywhere and this is my last piece that I'm just going to literally wrap so you when you get to the last piece you're gonna wrap this to the base of the chandelier just like how you wrap the last one try not to wrap them together because you have to um, take this off after <laughs> and you're gonna keep wrapping and going up and then the last one you're just gonna take that to the top and wrap it around like so What you want to do now is open it. So if you can see, let me see if I get you here. Right. So it looks like a little Christmas tree on my chandelier already. Right. Make sure your lights are separated nicely. And now just give me a minute and let me just open up those garlands and make them look really full and nice. I'm going to take you off now and I'm going to just show you how this looks. Let me see if I can get a good angle. And this is, it's a little dark. So this is already looking like an actual Christmas tree. It is so cute. <laughs> And now to the fun part, we're gonna decorate. So I'm gonna 
Um, just stop it right here and I'm going to get all my tools and everything ready up a little higher so I don't have to go down and up and down and up and we're going to actually decorate this. Okay, so we've gotten it done. I can take you up so you can see. See, it looks gorgeous. It looks like a tree, which is what you want it to look like. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the, um, what I like to call the statement ornament. So that's going to hang right at the bottom here, at the full bottom of the actual tree. And we're going to hang that up now. I hang my own using hooks from like these hooks. So I connect them together. Let me get one for you. These little hooks. Yeah, it, it, it stays. I connect them together very securely and I hang one to one side and one to the other side and it works perfectly. So I would literally so get it near to you. connect them together like this until they're hanging like this and then I will twist them because these are very strong. This is wire. You know, this is not going to release or, 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 or let it go. I've, I've done this for years at my house and there is no way it, it's, it has never come down. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to make this and then I'm going to hang it up for you. Okay, so I have my strings like this. I know it's ridiculous, but it works for me and I like it. So I'm literally going to take this and put it up inside and hook it on to the base of my chandelier. And it's hooked and stays with no issues, just like that for the entire season. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> so now we're gonna go up and decorate. Let's go. So the first thing I usually put in um, or put up is the ribbon because the ribbon kind of informs where you put all the other um, ornaments. So it's where the ribbon isn't falling, you put everything else. So I have my ribbon rolled up like this and I've rolled it up like this since last Christmas. Obviously, if you're going to try this for the first time, you wouldn't have it rolled up since last Christmas. So try to roll it up really tightly and leave it for a couple of days or especially if you get wired ribbon, it should stay. So I'm going to unroll it and it keeps this gorgeous kind of, you see how that looks? So it keeps that amazing tight roll and I just unroll it and keep it like that and then, and then I'm going to install it. So if you wanted to, you can pull it down, but I want my ribbon sort of curling up like this and looking gorgeous, just like that. So I'm going to take it to the top of my arm, um, of the chandelier up there, all the way to the top and wrap it around and I'll show you how. So you want to put it to the top of the chandelier like so, and then just wrap it around. And let it fall and that's it and then what you want to do is you want to twist it because it keeps as I said it keeps the curl and let it hang like that so that's one and look at that one it's so cute like when you leave it to curl up and let it curl so just keep turning it and then and that's it like you need nothing else I'm gonna grab the next one now so I've got the second ribbon as I said Take it, just unroll it, let it unroll for itself. It's just gonna keep the curl. That's what that's what it will do. You unroll this part. That's it'll it'll stay like tightly rolled like that. Unroll it and find how it's equal. All right. Then go all the way up to the top. Spin it around. This um, just turn it around the other one. So if you could turn your chandelier a little bit. As I said, make sure your sign is installed properly, please. And hold it up like this and just turn it around, just like the last one. Right, so now we have our ribbon hanging down. I'm gonna put this one to just be a little closer to the other one because we don't have any in this section. So we put a lot of like sprays of berries in this section for it to look really, really nice. Right, so I mean, just with this alone, it is so cute. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Like every year, I'm like this. I'm not lying. Okay, so I'm going to start putting ornaments and berries and everything else that makes Christmas just everything.
great. And I think we're done. Let me just um, take this off of here so I can show you what it looks like. So it's done. Um, I've decorated it. Um, fully. It has a lot of berries exploding out of it. Um, a lot of wicker. These these wicker balls um, or rattan balls, as some persons will call it, are so nice for Christmas because they're very earthy. And when you add them to a tree, it definitely looks, make it looks a little more um, just realistic, especially if you have an artificial tree like me. I don't, I don't get a real tree. So it's just amazing. Look at that. And then when you come down there, there's this amazing pool down here. It really takes your eyes up. And I'm going to share some pictures and I'm going to show you exactly how it comes out. I'm so happy right now. It looks, it came out really well. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to share some pictures. Bye.